Hey guys, welcome back. This is Will with the Padawan Pops YouTube channel, and today we're counting down my top five droid Funko Pops. So it has been a little while since I have done a countdown for any of my Funko Pops, and I thought there was no better way to hop back in than counting down my top five droids. Don't forget to check out my other top five countdowns. I'll link them below, as well as some awesome top fives from some of my friends who also stream on YouTube, and I will link their channels below as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number five, we have everyone's favorite optimistic droid. We have C-3PO, and this is number 454 from the Retro series at Target. I love the Retro series. If you follow me on Instagram, you are well aware of that at this point. But I think these pops look so unique. I love the paint job on them. This C-3PO pop has plenty of detail, and I love it. I love most C-3PO pops, but I think this one is super cool. And it's very light, too, as far as other pops go. I don't know if like the inside is hollow or what, but it doesn't feel as heavy as other Funko Pops that I have. And coming in at number four, again, we have C-3PO. This time, number 609 from the new Return of the Jedi line. This one is very cool. I like that it is not just standing on the traditional black Star Wars base. It's a funny scene, too, from the Return of the Jedi, so I really like that. I think this is a cool one. But Yep, this is C-3PO, number 609, Return of the Jedi. Coming in at number three, we have a Funko Pop that I actually picked up at a Funko Pop Con in Orlando a few months ago, and that is IG-88, number 103. And that is from the Smuggler's Bounty Collection. I love an IG droid. In Mando, we got IG-11, and I think everybody loves IG-11. But I think IG-88 is pretty cool as well. This pop, I actually got it for like 7 or $8, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, that's one of my favorite parts about these uh, Funko Pop Cons is you can bargain with the people selling, and most of the times they want to make a good deal for you. So IG-88, number 103 from the Smuggler's Bounty Collection. Coming in at number two, another retro series collection from Target, and this will be R2-D2 number 571. Up until a couple weeks ago, this was my favorite Droid Funko Pop. I really love the color scheme. I love how the R2 units, how the bobble is a little bit different. It's more subtle. It's not a huge bobble head or anything like that. Again, it's the retro series, so I'm automatically going to like anything that they do. But yeah, R2-D2 number 571, and that's the retro series from Target. And lastly, my number one droid Funko Pop. I actually picked this up a few weeks ago on Amazon. They were having a deal for Prime Day, so this was down around five or six dollars, and now it's already back up to 25, so I got a pretty good deal on it. And that is K2SO number 146, and this is the Amazon exclusive, the Jetta K2SO. You can see the battle worn on top. K2 is a hilarious character. I loved him in Rogue One, and I've been having my eyes on this Funko Pop for quite a little while, just waiting on it to be the right price, and Amazon Prime Day came up with the right price, um, much less than I believe what it's worth at around $5. So I had to jump on that one, and that is my new favorite droid Funko Pop. So let me know what you thought about my top five. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know what your top five would be. Leave that in the comments. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content and may the force be with you.